Brian Massey's office. I want to go in and ask a few questions as a concerned Canadian citizen, even if they'll let me in. And I'm filming this for my own protection. Oh, and they're closed. Smile, I'm on camera. Hi, how are you doing today? Good. Good for you. Brian's not in, is he? No, he's in Ottawa. Is he in Ottawa? Yeah. What can I do for you? Can you get back to me? My name's uh, Leo Lusher. Okay. Okay. I just got a few questions to ask him about uh, why the NDP government's propping the Liberal government, uh, one of the most scandalous governments uh, in Canadian history. Why aren't we calling for an election? It's only going to hurt his party, okay? He's been here 20 years. I like Brian as a person and his wife, okay? Uh, and I just want to know, you know, you know. Uh, now they want to do uh, election reform, okay? We don't want that. Why, what was wrong with the last election? Or, or, we need election reform. We need, yeah, we, need, we, don't need any, we don't need any international interference, okay, that we've been seeing. I get it, okay? Okay. Uh, but ultimately, the 25 seats that are held by the NDP in this country, okay, uh, they could call for an election any day. Okay, they could uh, vote a non confidence. Okay, that's their job. And, uh, you know. We're just trying to get things done. Well, nothing's getting done, it's getting worse. The dental, dental care is huge, but nobody's even activating the dental care yet. Well, the thing is this, okay, when we got a government, okay, especially, uh, you know, the, the truckers convoy and all that crap that happened up in Ottawa, yeah. okay, a judge ruled that it was illegal. He broke the Canadian Constitution. He did say that, but you didn't read into it because he did say his hands were tied and he would have done the same thing. And they're appealing it, right? So... Well, they can appeal it all they want, okay? When when you got a government that breaks the law, yeah. can see, and, you know, I've talked to Brian, actually, about Justin Trudeau back in 2017, okay? And, uh, you know, he told me that uh, Justin Trudeau's a wolf in a sheep's jacket, okay? Uh, don't You can't be trusted, this and that. But yet, you know, the people that voted for NDP, and a lot of people voted for NDP, and Brian Massey, he's been here, what, 20 years? Okay, and... Kieran, who used to who used to work with him, I like Kieran. Okay, Mackenzie. Okay, uh, the thing is, is that you guys put the support behind Trudeau. That's the only reason he's in he's he's in government right now. He's got the eighty five percent of the population that wants a, an election, that want him out. No, it's it's less than that. It's cost a lot of money. But I'll pass my name along, okay, Leo? Yeah. Pardon? Uh, you can two two six five zero six two zero five four is my number. You can call me. Uh, just a few questions as a concerned Canadian, okay? And I'm in his uh, constituency here. What an email address? Uh, he's probably got that on file. Okay, but what is it? Just in case. Clean Leo at hotmail dot com. Clean L E O. Yep. Yeah, I'm just filming this here for me for my own protection, right? I, you know, not to, you know, you have a job to do. I get it. Brian has a job to do, but he is the longest uh, member of parliament, okay, for the NDP, yeah. okay, be, 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 uh, him and, uh, what's his name from, Charlie Angus. Charlie Angus, okay, those two, okay, uh, you know, and I don't get it, really, I don't, if Jack Layton was alive today, man, he'd be, we man, almost had a, we almost had a, you would have had, we almost had a, an agreement with Jack Layton and the Liberal 
Bills back in her greens, but he grew up to the government. Remember that? Oh, yeah. I like Jack Layton. Okay, he was a man of the people, okay? Uh, and but the thing the thing the, my my solution is this. This is what's gonna happen. I already know because I'm hearing it through the channels, okay? There's gonna be a lot of pressure put on the NDP, and that means protesting out front of your places. There's only twenty five okay uh places. They're gonna protest and protest. No, no, I have, okay, because, you know, I, I know where I sit, right? Uh, but there's going to be protests out front of this place, Charlie Angus's place, and all of uh, the NDP offices, okay, until the pressure's put on, because ultimately, you know, it's crazy. You know, when people can't afford to buy a house, people can't afford to eat. That's also years and years also, too. It's no. to a point, right? We've been, this has been 40 years in the making. Don't forget that, okay? No, so no, in the last three years, honey, okay? In the la okay. I have my political degree. I know what I'm talking okay. about. Okay, in the last three years, okay. rent went from... A That's a provincial matter, though. That's a provincial matter. Okay. That's a Doug Ford matter. Okay, how about the, the price of real estate to buy? Okay, I own house. I own I own my own house. So really, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting myself in the foot because, you know what, my house went from $92,000 that I bought 20 years ago to $550,000 today. So really, I'm shooting myself in the foot. But for the next generation, they're not going to be able to own a house in this country. And that's because we got out of the business of building homes back in the 80s and the 90s from the conservative public. The conservatives like to cut and gut and privatize everything. And that's why we get so expensive. So by, not, by letting in a, an, an extra half a million new Canadians or, pardon me, refugees into the country every year, that's... Like, you, you can't no, keep up with building. It's definitely maybe the fact that we allow people to put their money into homes, like criminals, having homes that are just sitting empty, allowing foreign buyers, actually like not getting into the built housing building and not actually loaning to people. That's a huge problem. It's it's a huge problem, okay? And it's it's concerning to a lot of people. Not only the we could get into all kinds of there's just a few questions I want to ask them, right? You know, you look outside the doors here on Olet Avenue, uh the drug addiction, the yeah, homelessness. Oh, I, you know what, and I, I agree with you on that, yeah. okay? It's, it's a failure. We're spending more money on police when we should be spending more money on services for social people. Well, if we can't take care of the lowest, how can we take care of everybody else, right? Well, that's true, okay? That's true. You know, you know, you want to, they want to let in a half a million new Canadians every year, whatever, refugees, whatever you want to call them, okay, people from other places, okay, when we can't take care of our own people in this country, we got a problem, right? But the NDP has the power, okay? That's what I don't understand. The NDP... It's crazy. The end. The end. I don't want to see. I don't want to see the NDP be disseminated in the next election. I don't think they will. Well, you only have twenty-five seats, that's right? And, and a lot of that's people. That's the killer. And a lot of people are. are so upset about us, but yet we're bringing all these things with twenty-five. People. I'm not going to sit here and, and lie. Pierre Polyev is so full of shit, yeah. okay, that I'm still voting for him. That's how bad it is, and I never I voted. No well, <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm not saying he's I'm. Done nothing. I'm not he's saying PP's nothing. the man of the year, okay? But he's like I said, he's. But that doesn't and, make any sense to me. Why that, would you vote conservative when they have that's, no plan? That's the insanity of it, okay? Is that, that we want Trudeau? Sense. People want Trudeau gone so bad. Eighty-five percent of the. Well, if you look at the polls right now. Why, he is a little, He's not good. I understand that, but it's not. It doesn't make any sense to go. This is why I don't understand Canadians. We we don't like a party, so we go opposite right away, and then we get austerity, austerity, austerity. We go the other way. Well, they're not doing enough because we lost it. We just go in this cycle as Canadians. And I don't think we're going to do it anymore. Well, you know what? A, pe a lot of people are, right? That's the insane thing about it. And that's insanity, right? Uh, like I said, I've never voted conservative in my life, ever. But the discontent for, uh, Pierre, or for uh, Justin Trudeau, okay, I got to go somewhere with my vote. And it's like, well, you know. I just give you an example of what's going on in Ontario with our conservative government. Yeah. Our rents are going up. We're about to service all our service Ontario's to big companies like Staples and Walmart, right? Yeah. We are. That's just the tip of the iceberg. That's going to happen here too. Federally. What's scary for me is that I feel that if I was to put a vote towards the NDP, yeah. it's a vote for the Liberal Party, and it's vice versa. But that's the mentality that the media puts out there. Why can't we actually try a government that actually works for the people? The NDP are people. We are trying to work for regular folks. I don't care about these rich guys. I don't care about the Liberals. I care about you and I, the people on the streets. We need to be helping them and not giving money to big corporations. That's my problem. You know what I care about the most? Well, 
I care about a lot of things, but personally for me, I made over a hundred thousand dollars last year and I'm not a drug addict. I seldom drink. Okay. I'm a homebody with three kids at home and a wife and single dad, uh, single parent. Okay. Uh, uh, finances coming into the house. Okay. I'm taking care of the whole thing and I'm just living week to week. Are you getting your child tax benefits? No, I make too much money. They say I haven't seen a car. Does your wife work? No, she's don't work. She takes care of the kids. I don't qualify, and I don't qualify for the carbon tax. I haven't seen a cent on the carbon tax, uh, the HST, the GST, any of it. Okay, I haven't seen it in years. Okay. okay, so I don't know what's going on when he says, oh, we got the carbon rebates. I don't see the carbon rebate mm -hmm. because I made over too much. I made too much money, right? Uh, but it's just not enough. If I'm the working class, and that's what Brian Massey's all about is the working class, okay, and I'm struggling at over $100,000 a year, I feel really, really sorry for anybody that's making 50, 60, 70, 80, Definitely. 90. And it wasn't like this three years ago. Three years ago, 100 grand, I was living like uh, uh, Justin Trudeau, okay? I could go out and buy another house. I could go out and do this and do that and go on vacations, right? So it's concerning to me. I took the night off of work anyways tonight. We're not busy, so and I, I wanted to come and see Brian, okay, and it's been in my mind for a couple of weeks, right? Brian's not a bad guy, okay? He knows who I am, and I just wanted to ask him a few questions because I got a lot of people that are watching, right? So and if hopefully he could answer the questions, but a lot of people want to call for an election, and I'm hearing through the grapevines that there's going to be protests at the offices of the NDP because it is their right to protest. As long as we don't have bouncy castles and stuff like that, right? Yeah, you're breaking the, yeah, you're breaking the rules and making noise for other people, right? Yeah. You're there to protest the government, not everybody around you. You're going to get a lot of people. When, when I was in Ottawa, and I was at the Ambassador Bridge too, but when I was in Ottawa, you know, for mainstream media and what the government was putting out there was all false, okay? All false. There was no rapes in the streets and people okay. being violent. Just, like right. But the NDP did vote for the, uh, 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 what was it, the, uh, the the War Measures Act. We'll call it what it is, the War Measures Act. It was emergency act, and it was called for, right? Provincial government, where was that for? Snowmobiling, ignoring it. All the other municipalities, or sorry, all the Ottawa mayor ignoring it, because they wanted to put it on the federal government and come with that, right? Well, if you look at the farmers over in Europe right now, uh, you see what's going on. I don't know if you're in tune to social media, no, but, okay. But across the world right now, even truckers down in Texas, okay? Barely. There's barely anybody there. Well, <laughs> this is what we're seeing. I'm seeing it on a little different. As, the, sure. as we get closer to their, their date, which is Saturday, it's getting bigger and bigger in Texas. But if you look at what's going on in Europe, okay, they have a right to protest. But when our protests become too big or they call it an occupation because, you know what, they got to put a time limit on a protest, that's wrong. Okay, and when a judge rules that it's wrong... And we have the sitting government that's still sitting there. And you got Christine Freeland, all of them, uh, uh, freezing bank accounts and laughing about it. Okay, that's wrong. 100% is wrong. And like I said, the only ones that could call for an election is the NDP. The Liberals aren't going to call for an election. So nobody's going to waste their time protesting in front of uh, uh, liberal offices. They're going to... Well, we're not going to call on it. I'm going to tell you right now, there's no election to be called. We're working on getting Pharmacare now. Now we need to get our staff legislation. Listen... We don't have the money for it, but we don't have the money for it. We don't have the money to call for an election either. Do you know how much it costs to run an election? That's $600 million at least. Well, you know what? It's up to the people. So, sure. And it, the, the, the more, the more, well, it, I, it's going to be sad to see because, you know, Brian Macy's been here and he's been representing this uh, neighborhood forever, almost, mm -hmm. okay, 20 years. And, uh, and it's going to be sad to see because the NDP are going to lose a lot of seats in the last election because I guess opinion? it's the, <laughs> well, the opinion is this, is that if you vote for the NDP, it's a vote for the liberals, right? How so vote for the NDP because, we're the only ones that actually want to and work for the because if I vote for the NDP, then I'm voting for the liberals That's your own or if I vote for, if I vote for the liberals, I'm voting for the NDP. Well, uh, we have a minority government, okay, that's acting as a majority. How did they get the majority? They got it from who? You guys. Well, they're not. Quebec, well, Quebec 
buzz not going to help them. The Green Party's not going to help them. So we're going to work together and try to get stuff done for Canadians. Uh -huh. If you want to be upset about prices, you go to your Loblaws, your Galen Wessons. Those are the guys that are raising your prices. You ask your big telecom companies why they're raising your prices. Well, when we have a government that could freeze bank accounts, why can't they freeze the, the cost of, of, of living for uh, Loblaws and the, and, and the cost of food and everything else? The conservative government, his own, his own house speaker or whatever, his own staff, chief of staff is a registered lobbyist with Loblaws. Mm -hmm. They're not going to do it either. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Have to Brian call me because, you know what, the people want to, the people want to hear from him, right? And, uh, Right. Even though I'm, uh, what would we call it, uh, alternative media, I, I do work for uh, Maverick Multimedia from time to time, right? And, and while well, Rick Walker's XCTV guy, okay, and I do a lot of stories for him. And uh, you know, it's gonna get it's gonna get put out there anyways, right? But uh, I'd like Brian to at least give me a call and, and, and talk to me. Thank you. Bye bye. So. Now that's funny. So I'm requesting uh, to talk to uh, Brian Massey, but obviously he's in Ottawa. But when he comes back, hopefully he does the right thing, gives me a call. We'll f flip this over this way. He gives me a call because I got some questions that are pretty concerning. He just heard some of the questions there. There's a lot more that meets the eye. You know, I'm just doing myself as dual dil diligence as a Canadian citizen. We have the right to question our politicians when something's not right. And something's not right. Okay. A vote, like I said, a vote for the NDP is a vote for the Liberal and vice versa. So it looks like protests are going to happen. And if you want to call for an early election, which everybody does, 85% of the country does, you have to start protesting. There's only 25 ridings that are held by the NDP. Start protesting out front of their places. Put the pressure on, and they'll have no choice but to call for an election. Or they'll be disseminated, okay, with the liberals. Like I said, I'm not going to be naive. I don't trust Pierre Polyev, but I'm voting for the guy. That's how bad it is, okay? Really. So I want Trudeau gone. I want a new government in. I want to be represented properly in this country, even though, you know, it is what it is. With that being said, guys, share this around. But that's the truth. That's the nature of the uh, of politics. Put the pressure on them. And uh, I'm here. I'm, anybody who wants to get a protest going here for uh, out front of the NDP place, you guys get to contact me. We'll get it together. We'll put it together and uh, get it going. Thanks, guys.